You knew. I did. jump off. So much stuff is happening. I am currently in Atlanta, but just for um, like a week or so, I am celebrating the 4th, the 4th of July. Um, not the 4th of July, really. Hello. Shout out to the Supreme Court. I hope you get abolished. But anyway, um, I am here hanging with my fam. I am wearing, I'm about to put on, wearing, I'm about to put, oh wait. There we go. I got the um, Coserex All About Snow kit. I just use this for when I'm traveling. Coserex is their girl. Oh my God. Child, a little bit goes a long way. Literally all of this is going to be enough for my face. Anyway, a lot, see? A lot has happened. I was in Atlanta chilling, not really knowing what's going on with my career. Then got some really good news about my career. Got a new agent and uh, went back to LA. As soon as I got back to LA, I got strep throat, which had me down for two weeks. And the writers went on a strike. And now, my union is heading, sag after is heading into a strike. So, I'm back in Atlanta because, one, I like it down here. Two, I have a lot of time now. I have a lot of time. It's so crazy, like, with my acting career. It's always, like, a big rush, and then it slows down. Then it's a big rush, and then it slows down. I... I'm in such an unstable career. It's crazy that I still have my mind, like my mindset on straight. It is insane. But while I'm here, because I have to go back to LA for a show that I'm in. Um, but while I'm here, I'm going to do some of the things I always wanted to do. I tried this uh, Kosovix eye cream. Eye cream. I actually really, I, I actually, I actually really like it. It's not bad at all. I love how their products just go really well with my skin. You know, I have combination skin, and these products just work. Like everything goes on smooth like butter, smooth like butter. But uh, now, since I have to go back in a few days. I am going to do some things that I've wanted, been wanting to do, but I just haven't done it because you know when you feel like you just have all the time in the world, do you know what I mean? Just like, oh, I could do that next week. No, I'm only here for a week. I have to do it now. So that's not a bad thing. It's just, ugh, girl. It's just that my days are going to be full in 100 degree heat. But there's nothing I can do about it because it's just hot every day. So I can't put anything off. I'm like, I just have to do it. So today I wanted to go to a couple of furniture stores because we're still fixing up. We're still fixing up our home. And I feel like when we finish fixing up our home, we're gonna be moving into another one. I feel like it's gonna happen because that happens to us all the time because we take our time with furnishing and like putting our home together. Here's why, we're just a traveling family. We're never in one place for too long. So anyway, I wanna use this time 
to go to a couple furniture stores. I love the Habitat for Humanity Restore in LA. I want to see if the one in Atlanta is hitting like the LA one uh, because I love that store. Uh, next up is the Neutrogena Invisible Defense Face Serum. Can you see it? Hope you can see it. Listen, it's not the best, but it's the only thing that I could find that's affordable and goes on clear. Um, I like Bolden. I like their sunscreen, but I'm waiting for it to for it to be delivered. And also, it just irritates the hell out of my eyes like this one. I'm currently on the hunt for a sunscreen that doesn't burn my eyes out or make me regret ever putting it on. But so far, this is the best thing. I got a couple of sunscreens that Influencer sent me to review. So I'm gonna check those out and see if they're worth the hype. But you see what I mean? It's not that invisible on me, but this is like as good as it's gonna get for the like normal sunscreens or affordable sunscreens out there. So you gotta take what you can take until my bolden arrives. But yeah, I'm gonna go to that Habitat for Humanity Restore, and then I'm want I want to try the Crate and Barrel outlet to see what they have because I was watching uh, Chelsea Chelsea Jane. Chelsea Jen, yeah, I was watching her vlog and she found some really nice pieces at Crate and Barrel at their outlet store and I wanna check them out. Then I think I wanna to go to this taco place out here in Atlanta. I was watching this guy's TikTok review. He reviews like all the hottest spots to eat in Atlanta and he did a review on one of those, um, on this like local Mexican spot and they had Berea tacos that he dipped in like a Berea taco ramen. <clears throat> girl, girl, I want to check that out too. If I feel like it, I feel like with this kind of heat, my appetite diminishes drastically. All I feel like is popsicles and watermelon. So we will see if I even have an appetite to do that. I think there's some other places that my mom wanted to go that we'll check out, but for now, it's just those two places. And if I can take the heat, the 105 degree heat, if I can take that, then I'll go to some other stores. But I feel like for now, I just wanna do those two stores, then come back here and uh, fix up as much as I can before I go to the pool. Cause child, that pool has been seeing me. It is far too hot out here. Um, do I feel like all of this definition? Do I want definition? <sighs> Cause I'm just like, it's so hot. I don't know if I feel like all this. So I'm just gonna be real light with everything. Real light with everything. As you can see, I just put on powder, no foundation, too hot for all that. Too hot for all that. I just take my finger and rub it in. A little contour. Don't really know if I need it. But definition, right? Definition, distinctions. Then I'm gonna do a little Fenty Beauty. What is this? Bronzer. You can tell I'm not a makeup girly. You can tell I'm not a makeup girly. But yeah, that's where I've been, and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. How are you? I've missed you. I really, really have. It's just, life has been crazy. Life has been crazy. But I will say, with this strike, I'm starting to get back to things that I enjoyed, that now I have time for, and it's starting to make me think about my life moving forward, just in general. Because I feel like I've, I don't feel like I know I've made my career a god, because I've been working on this thing since I was a kid. And normally for me, whenever acting calls, I just drop everything, and I go after it. And I feel like my life needs to change drastically because I don't think that's healthy. I'm not the healthiest that I have ever been mentally or physically or even spiritually. And I would like to use this time to get back to that because I don't want to lose myself in a career, especially a career that is so unstable. I want to do better about that. I want to do better in relationships. There's so many things that I'm like thinking about now that I have so much time. 
I'm just like, I wanna do better. I wanna be better. That got real deep. <laughs> that got real deep, that got real deep. But it's the truth, it's the truth. I need to really stop giving what and wild a chance like I'm 12. You know what I mean? What and wild was that girl back in the day for me when I started to get into makeup, like right around my junior prom. But now as an adult, I'm like, these aren't the best quality products. These are definitely starter products. I'm not knocking it because when I was starting out, this was the best thing ever. But now the products are just not hitting like I need them to hit. It's just like everything that I have bought from there has just not been a good investment. And I think it's just because I'm older and I've tried different makeup, makeup brands, and you know, I just know that the quality could be better. Because this eyebrow pencil is terrible. Absolutely terrible. So yeah, I think it's time. Ah, I think it's time for me to move on from Wet n Wild. I think this is my last Wet n Wild Growth, see, we're already growing. We're already growing. I think I'm just gonna line my lips, put on some gloss, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Get a little, get a little shine, a little highlighter. Cause I feel like as soon as I get out there in that heat, it's all gonna go away. I feel like it's all gonna go away and it won't be worth a dime. I feel like as soon as I start sweating, it's all gonna go away. Pat McGrath liner. Let me tell you something. Pat McGrath, her products never disappoint. She is one makeup brand that I will vouch for. I'm like, you are worth it. You are worth it, Miss Girl. Her products are the truth. Also, shout out to Marc Jacobs. Um, I know your makeup line went under. I apologize that I found out about it when it was going under because you make great makeup products. Your eyeliner and your lip gloss. I'm wearing Marc Jacobs lip gloss. I don't know what this is, but it's like a chocolate lip gloss. It's the best. Oh, it's the best. I absolutely like, look at my lips. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. And then I'm going to, the hell? Child of birds want to jump in this conversation. And then I'm just going to top it off with a little Pat McGrath glow in the middle. And there we go. And there we go. You know, another store I want to try today, if it's not too hot, Belk. I want to try out Belk. I have been seeing them everywhere, like all over town. And I used to think that they were a telephone company. Like, weren't they a telephone company at some point? That's what I thought, but they're not. They're like a TJ Maxx and a Kohl's if they were adopted by Walmart. It's a lot going on here, but I want to find out for myself if it's for me or not for me. That's just enough. Yeah, that's just enough. Anyway, let me finish my makeup and I will see you at Starbucks because I feel like before I get on the road, I got to get me a Starbucksy. And I want to try their Dragon Fruit Lemonade. Girl, the last time I was there, I saw somebody buy it and I was like, if I did not get this freaking caramel latte macchiato, whatever the hell I got, I would double back and got that. So I want to get that today. So I will see you at Starbucks. Bye. And welcome back. Welcome back. Break me out the plastic. I've been acting brand new. Period. <laughs> So, um, I got it. I got it. I got the Starbucks, um, mango, but it's so hot here, guys. It's already melting. I got the Starbucks mango dragon fruit frozen lemonade. So we're going to try it. Oh my God. I got it on the hottest day in Atlanta. Oh my God. It's already melting. Let's try it. It looks refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Um... All they did was put it in the blender with yeah, some ice. Yeah, I, th I think that's what they did. They just that's blended it with did. some ice. You could do that at home. Yeah. Rip me out the plastic because I'm being acting brand new. Okay. So I thought that... I don't know what I was expecting, but because I'm a Philly girl... Oh! 
Ciao. My camera's melting. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. I think it's because I'm a Philly girl. I was expecting like a water ice consistency. Maybe it's because it's melting. Like as soon as I got it, it started melting and I literally just got it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not impressed. I'm gonna try it again when I get to LA to see if it'll keep its consistency. Yeah, but I don't, yeah. I just prefer the drink. This isn't for me. But I'm going to try it again in L.A. Where the weather's a bit better. <laughs> where it's not as hot and it's not as humid. But yeah, I tried it. It's okay. Oh, all you do is waste. No, I don't. We are back in Costco, of course. It's, it's not an Atlanta trip without Costco. So we're here getting some things for uh, Juneteenth Part 2. Because um, we won't celebrate that other one. Oh yeah, because you want to be on camera. No, I don't, Nikki. I'm not... I'm not appropriate right now. Because her baby here is down to her eyebrows. NDA. Mama. She got the finger waves. Ain't she cute? All right. Next up is um, Habitat for Humanity. That's next. That's next. You had to go to Costco first because they closed mad early on the weekends. Weird. I feel like Costco should be open till like midnight. Because who in the hell wants to come during these prime hours, especially with all these people? Anyway, let me get out of here. It's getting packed, as usual. Little big dick. Oh, 
got Mama on the grill. Happy Juneteenth for it too, Mama. <laughs> so cute. She has her crown on. I love it. it smells good already. I'm a queen. That's why I got my own. Period. Period. <laughs> oh, let me get my smoker. Can I put this on? I'm gonna put it. Can I put it in the middle? Mm -hmm. Mama! She wanted to Mom, you in front of my shot! Oh. Nice! Not going to the pool. Well, not right now. She's cooking, Mom. But when she's done. Oh, my God. We're going to wait for time. Oh, my God. Owen, ready. Well, that's what you were best. So it's so short. Oh. I came down the left since I've been down here. You don't want to go to the pool? You have a big 30. I got to take care of this man. You won't. Don't let me be the hottest thing in your car. My love, what's going on with you? You need to be turned over. Well, you need to be here to do that. Because if you're going to put oh. them on there, and then I got to bring them. The salmon is on there. And the Read potatoes her. is on there. Read her mother. Read her mother. That's what she wants to do. After her daughter done did all this running around. After I told you I didn't want to do that on today. Oops. I didn't complain. I just did it. Because I won't complain. starts pouring. Okay, 
got to wrap it so up. Right the I was about to say, we, we oh, yes. oh my God. But they got to wrap it up. Like, how you much know, longer? For, oh, they go till midnight. They already put it on here. Till midnight with yeah, this? Yeah, they can go until midnight. They can go until midnight. Oh. It's legal. <laughs> Gosh. But the birds are scared. You want to share? No, I'm probably going to go on. It's going to go on. Woo! Come on, come on. Something's happening. Yeah. But they didn't even watch you make a phone call. I'm on a baby. I don't think I can go through this until midnight. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Oh my god. Lauren, Nikki, you help me with the camera. This right I know, that's why I'm trying to get this. Well, it's night out. Rip me out the place. Oh, something biting.